It seems amazing to me that I've been developing with object-oriented design and programming for some 20 odd years. I will remember when I started doing so, and the only worries I seemed to have were in getting the syntax right and wondering whether a method had to be virtual or not. Over the two decades since then, we've all become rather better at writing object-oriented code, not just me. I thought I'd discuss a well-recognized set of principles that have helped many people become better object-oriented programmers. The SOLID principles, where SOLID is an acronym with each of the five letters denoting a separate principle. These principles were first described in their current form by Robert Martin, also known as Uncle Bob. Today we'll look at the S in SOLID, the Single Responsibility Principle. This perhaps is the most difficult principle in the SOLID collection to grasp. Here's how Uncle Bob puts it. There should never be more than one reason for a class to change. Now let's take a look at an example from my own code. A while back I was investigating red-black trees and I wrote a tree painter class to render a simple binary tree to the screen. It had methods that recursively navigated the tree being drawn, uh, these are called draw such and such, and it had methods that drew the edges and the nodes themselves. These are called paint such and such. In my original code these are all named draw such and such just to make the distinction even harder to spot. And very nice it was too, until the day I wanted to use the same code for drawing a tree using a different graphics library. Suddenly the mix of tree navigation and node edge drawing became a liability. The tree navigation code didn't need to change, but the drawing code did. In essence, my tree painter class did not conform to the single responsibility principle. It did two entirely separate things, navigation and painting. When the latter area of responsibility changed, the whole class was compromised, despite the fact that navigation was the same. The solution was to break out the node edge painting from the tree navigation and make them separate classes. In fact, this separation of responsibilities made it easier when I modified the code painting logic to work with red-black tree nodes, which was yet another vector of change. All is not a bed of roses, though. The problem with the single responsibility principle is that you may make your code more complex and decomposed than you ordinarily would, or for some future eventuality that may never come. If, for example, I decided never to use some other graphics context or needed to render red-black trees, my original code would still be working just fine today.